each other out because at the end of the day, whether we like it or not, whether we get along or not, it's all about the patient or the resident. gonna let y'all get ready with me hopefully we'll be able to hear this um but yeah so yeah i just got out the shower and i did my whole little skincare routine um i've been using this youthful to the people um dream mask it's like a at night mask and those of you those of you who do not know i work third shift if you hear somebody laughing that's my child he's in my room watching blippy I'm just getting ready for work and I figured I'd show y'all what I do. I don't do much because this is not a fashion show. Work is not a fashion show to me. Like I literally just go to work clean and not looking too bummy. I mean, I wear a mask. So it really doesn't make a difference um, what I look like. I'm gonna add some rose water to my locks for hydration. I do not wear wigs to work. I feel no need. I work as a CNA. I sweat a lot because it's a physical job. So 
So today I think I'm just gonna do something to my hair. I'm really not sure yet, so we'll see. We'll see what we come up with. Um, I've been using this Napstar Super Hold Retwist Gel right here, and I'm starting to like it. So I'll probably start using this on an everyday basis unless I find something that's better for my locks. But yeah, so I'm gonna do a little twisty on the side. I'm really not worried about, you know, how I look today. Today, or how I'm gonna look tonight, I should say. Um, I work night shift. I don't feel like you should have to be cute on night shift whatsoever. I need to shift period because you know you wear masks. So I'm just the type of person I like to retwist my lock on the side because I like to have that one hanging down. Just like that so my locks are nice and hydrated and i'm just gonna do G gianni just gonna do some little a little twist ordeal i'm no pro at doing this so don't y'all be like she's doing it wrong i just do what I do and go out of here. <laughs> so I'm gonna put this one like this right now. And let's move to the other side. When it comes to my face, I only did my skincare and that's all I'm going to do. I'm not going to do anything else. I don't wear any makeup to work. Now, disclaimer, my eyelashes look like spider legs right now because um, I haven't been able to get in with my lash tech. And I still have some stragglers waiting. And them stragglers going to stay there. They holding on by the grace of God. But yeah, they're gonna stay there until I make a lash appointment before my trip. I'm not even gonna worry about getting a full set because I'm going on a trip in like three weeks, so why waste? My lips are a little dry, so I'm gonna put on some Laneige lip mask. These products I've all used before. Got my lip mask on, and that's all I'm gonna do right now. As far as my hair and my skin go. Alright you guys, so I had a little time to chill and talk to y'all and let y'all know how working with a CNA agency has been going for me. It's been going okay for the most part. It has its pros and its cons. I have been working with this agency for two months, I want to say now. The pros are that you can pretty much pick the days you want to work if the shift is available which is nice so you can decide when you want to work you can decide if you want to work 12 hour shifts or if you want to work eight hour shifts unfortunately the facility that's in my town only does 12 hour shifts i really wish they did eight hour shifts and too i get sick of working 12 hour shifts all the time because you know i just feel a little bit burnt out because i've been working a lot i have been working three to four days a week and i necessarily don't have to pick up that many days but i do because i have things i want to save for so that's why i do work as much as i do pro is that you get paid every week i mean who doesn't like weekly pay you also have the option to get paid next day so like the next day pay me personally i'd rather get paid in a lump sum than get little money here with little money there that's just my personal opinion when it comes to the pay i can wait a week to get paid it's not that big of a deal to me now let's get on the cons of working with cna agency or just the cons of working in the medical field period right now um everywhere is short staffed i don't know why it's crazy it's so crazy 
to me how bad short staff oh my gosh y'all my lashes look so crazy i'm so sorry y'all probably like oh my gosh she's a bum look at her but guess what i told y'all these little babies gonna stay on until i get my feel they'll be off soon <laughs> but anyways everywhere short staffed i don't care if it's walmart mcdonald's you know everywhere is short staff right now because of the pandemic i really don't know what people are doing for work these days my personal opinion is that everybody figured out that they can be their own boss and they're working for themselves and they're deciding not to work for companies but that's just my theory who knows <laughs> but yeah like i was saying everywhere short staff i mean extremely short staff especially when it comes to the medical field because i remember like a couple weeks ago, there was no employees in the building for the facility I went to. All the staff from the CNAs to the nurses were agency. Agency just pays more. Of course, people are going to go where money is to be made. That is just the reality of it. It's sad that these facilities are not paying their employees that are dedicated enough money and agencies are getting paid a lot more but hey if you don't like it come over to the agency baby that's where it's at since everywhere short staffed the reality of it is that you have probably double the amount of patients or residents than you normally have like until i start working at agency that or just going to agencies that were extremely short staffed like it is here in georgia i only had like the most i want to say 10 to 12 residents because i was picking up at a place back home in north carolina i didn't have that many residents so the other night i about had a mental breakdown because i had 25 patients i want to say now granted some of them were independent but it was only like three to five that were independent and that didn't need changes or anything like that so that's what you have to keep in mind with this um you are going to go into facilities like I've said in previous CNA videos, and you might not have supplies. We have been running low on supplies like crazy. I hate when you run low on supplies because then I can't do the job that I need to do. So yeah, keep that in mind. That's more than likely going to happen as well. Another thing I wanted to mention in my little chit chat is that I am really getting sick and tired of these nurses that are like just mean to cnas like just because you have a couple of letters behind your name does not mean that you disrespect people if anybody knows me when i was a medical assistant i wasn't working for no doctor that was disrespectful to me i would not come back i promise you that i don't care what degree you have behind your name that doesn't mean you have to disrespect people and that doesn't mean you have to treat people like peasants because at the end of the day, we breathe the same air. At the end of the day, it's all about respect. So sometimes you're going to go into these facilities and the nurses think that they're your boss. You have your own employer. And basically, you work for yourself if you really think about it. Because when you work for these agencies or the agency I work for, I've never really talked to anybody about anything that was going on. It's just like whoever picks up the phone, like a little call center or whatever. But I don't have a boss, baby. I'm my own boss in a sense. So you bossing me around trying to tell me what to do when I know I'm doing what I'm doing ain't going to happen. And if you run into that, you know... Keep it professional and just don't work that rotation that that nurse works or just don't go to that facility. That is the luxury of working agency. Now, it really sucks when you find a, a or a, a facility that you really like, but the nurse is crap or the nurse is disrespectful. That's a bummer, but trust and believe there will be other places out there for you to work. And this is not me talking junk about nurses because I'm actually going back to nursing school i just always keep in mind that okay i'm about to be a nurse so if i had a cna i would treat my cna with respect because cna work is hard it's physical and it, it's physically and mentally hard it's physically and mentally stressful granted nurses work it's really stressful right now for them but i feel like everybody should just show each other respect 
and help each other out because at the end of the day whether we like it or not whether we get along or not it's all about the patient or the resident and another thing i wanted to tell you guys is watch the weight gain on third shift weight gain on third shift is a real thing that weight will creep up on you so fast as you saw at the beginning of my vlog I did go walk. I try to be active every day, even if it's just walk. You have to be physically active. Even if you're at work, all your patients are asleep. Just do a lap around the building or something. On the inside now. I don't know about the outside. We don't want nobody to get kidnapped, but do it on the inside. That's why I use my Apple Watch. I count my steps. But just stay moving. Make sure you do not gain any unnecessary weight because summer is around the corner. I myself am trying to lose at least 10 pounds. That's what I would like to lose. I have been taking a lot of salads to work. And with those salads, I put like chicken or tuna on top. I make sure my salad is not loaded with a bunch of toppings because what's the point if it is... Like make a, a light salad. I've been eating clean lately. So some of the snacks I've been taking to work is like yogurt um, and fruits. Um, Sometimes I take like a couple of nuts. But I only take a handful so I'm not like spurging. Because you really have to watch your portions. Like portion control is the key when it comes to like trying to maintain a healthy weight. Um, I use Pinterest to find a lot of my recipes and or snack ideas so make sure you check out pinterest i do not snack on any cookies and chips and stuff like that if people offer it to me i'm just like no thank you so it takes a lot of discipline because when you're up at night time you don't want to eat something like you're gonna get hungry only because you're up. i also try not to eat past 11 sometimes that does not work out depending on how busy i am and another thing that i've been doing to watch my weight is not drinking coffee at work i know that sounds crazy but i've been taking hot tea to work instead i drink coffee before i go to work just a little bit not a lot and then I take hot tea to work. I've been really liking the vanilla chai tea. I got it from Walmart and in that tea I do add a little bit of my French vanilla creamer as well as honey and that's all I use to sweeten it. I do not use any sugar or anything like that and so I've been drinking that during the night. Another thing I want you guys to remember is to drink water especially when you work third just drink water in general but when you work third please 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 drink water throughout the night you have to stay hydrated i found out that i wasn't drinking in a lot of water throughout the night so when i would come home take my shower and go to sleep when i would wake up i would feel so groggy i would have cotton mouth so bad but i would just feel physically sick and it's because i was probably dehydrated and i wasn't drinking enough water but ever since i started drinking more water i feel so much better so yeah those are that's just my little chit chat for this video you're girl's about to get dressed so i will see you guys in a minute so just a little disclaimer i didn't notice until i got into the car that my child had got something on my scrub top because he was eating and i didn't think it was going to show up in the video but while i was editing i noticed it so yeah that's what that is all right you guys so i am getting ready to go to work i just wanted to show y'all what i wear to work like jewelry wise so i only have these like little stud earrings they're gucci inspired they're so small they say gucci on them i got these earrings from aliexpress and i always wear a fragrance to work i wear fragrance to bed i always have a fragrance on me i feel like my signature scent is always vanilla so i'm going to wear this vanilla bean noel from bath and body works i always like to use my um bath and body work fragrances for like work if that makes sense because they're really inexpensive so sprayed myself got my earrings on i do not wear a necklace to work because you don't want a patient to like grab your necklace and choke you out. I also have on my Apple Watch. I always wear my Apple Watch to work. Like I said, I like to count my steps. And I also don't like to really touch my phone that much. It's because of germs and stuff like that. 
so yeah you guys that is it uh, hey Gianni hey. before I was rudely interrupted I like to take my hydro fat hydro flask water bottle because it stays cold all night and I am a cold water drinker now I'm also taking my book Bridgerton book this is book three and I'll be taking my computer as well and yeah and that is it y'all enjoyed today's vlog it was just really a get ready with me slash cna update y'all know what's going on with me and how it's been going i guess i could say it's been going good and bad <laughs> so we'll just leave it at that thank you for hanging out with me as always thank you for supporting me remember that everybody is pretty no matter what size shape or color and i will see you guys in my next video